Tectal has had the pleasure of spending just about a work week now with the Galaxy Note. Let's talk about the features. The Galaxy Note is powered by Android OS version 2.3.5, Gingerbread run with the help of the Exynos chipset CPU, and the processor is a dual core 1.4 GHz ARM Cortex A9. You will be able to feel, literally feel the power of this beast of a processor since the first touch itself. A lot of users complained how the Android OS is still laggy after the updates in recent times, no matter what the processor, especially when you hold an Android smartphone alongside a similar processor, iPhone, or maybe even the latest Windows Phone 7 Mango. Samsung seems to have hit the final nail here in the coffin with this one. There is no lag whatsoever, no matter what you do. A real powerful gadget in my hand will fulfill your heart and put your soul at ease. Tectal allots it a full 10 out of 10 for OS and processor here. To begin with, the screen on this bad boy is by far the most beautiful, detailed, and vivid that we have ever seen. This is Samsung's Super AMOLED Capacitive Touchscreen sporting 16 million colors, as you can see here, with a resolution of 800 by 1280 pixels and a monster size of 5.3 inches. The phone's pixels are densely packed at 285 pixels per inch. It's also made out of Corning Gorilla Glass, which means it would be scratch resistant. In a world where technology is going faster than Osama's beard did, we think this screen is how every phone screen should look like. Though maybe it'll turn some people off as to how big the phone is because of its gigantic display. But we trust these guys' motives. Imagine viewing the entire newspaper or webpage without having to scroll down. That feeling of empowerment and the sheer joy of even viewing videos on this display is indescribable. Tectal gives this display a full 10 out of 10 thoughts once again. It is obvious that anybody picking up the Galaxy Note would also want to enjoy videos and music on this amazing device. The great part is that Samsung Galaxy Note does this exceptionally well. Samsung has thrown in some presets and a customizable preset in the equalizer too. So you can drop the bass and bend the treble the way you like. You have 5.1 virtualization and the DNSE sound enhancement within the music player as well. The output volume on connecting external speakers could be a little higher, although sound quality is top notch. You can also share the track you're listening through through Wi-Fi on email or on social networks. The video player experience is nothing like you've ever seen before. The sheer delight of watching HD videos on a true HD screen with 1280 by 800 resolution cannot be explained. The note handles formats with ease and plays AVIs, MP4s, MKVs, WMVs, and DivX and XVIT is supported too. HD videos play without a hitch and files over 2 GB were handled easily. The best part is the phone still delivers that kick-ass battery backup. You can play more than eight hours of video on a single charge. Tectal rates the multimedia experience on the Galaxy Note at 10 bots out of 10. The Note comes with an eight megapixel camera which also has an autofocus and an LED flash, as you can see here. Besides this, the Samsung phone camera features things like face detection, touch, focus, blink, and smile detection. The camera, however, lacks a dedicated camera button, which will make your pictures blur occasionally. This is something common for almost all Android devices and somehow, Tectal could never understand why such top-end devices would lack basic necessities. Besides that, the camera takes fabulous pictures, contrasts are good, detailing is fine, and 
auto exposure corrections are also pretty good. 720p videos have less noise and low light, but once you start taking 1080p videos, lack of stabilization takes a toll on your videos. Finding pictures with the S Pen makes pictures more personal. Try exploring your creative side with that. Tactile rates the Galaxy Notes camera a reasonable 7 bucks out of 10. The Galaxy Note is a big device. It has been built well, perhaps better materials could have been used. The device otherwise makes you feel and look like a tech doll queen or a king. But the phone, due to its huge size and thin shape, feels rather fragile. It's a nightmare to imagine the phone accidentally falling from your hand. It's not really easy to get used to, even after a couple of weeks, while you might get used to the phone size, it certainly is just too big for comfort. However, viewing web pages and videos is an amazing experience on this handset. The S Pen is a delightful addition and the phone is just lightning fast. But feel and user friendliness are things that get personal. TechDoll does not find the note to be comfortable to carry around. In fact, women cannot fit this into their purses or maybe into their back pockets. You can just forget about it, women. I think even for men, it gets rather big to hold. We understand that Samsung wanted to create path-breaking devices and did exactly that with the Note. But we think that the Note is more a Note pad with its monster size and less a mobile phone. In fact, the device's mobility is a huge deterrent for a lot of users, as we inquired. Unfortunately, this otherwise fabulous phone only gets 7 out of 10 for build, user-friendliness, and feel from TechDoll. Check out our next video for the final verdict on the Galaxy Note.